boys and girls welcome back we are dealing with fun today yes i said it fun so basically if you can be able to identify these letters on parallel lines i am telling you you are god okay so some would prefer to call it fun or some will call it fuzz or however you want to call it but basically what you need to know is that this letter f it can be written in any different directions we can rotate it look at this before i get into the issue uh, of parallel lines look at this look at the f you can write it like this you can write it like that you can write it like this you can also write it like this it can face anywhere really but as long as you are able to see the f on the diagram that you're given then you know alternate i mean corresponding angles yes corresponding angles because when lines are parallel and there is a transversal line angles are formed and one of the angles that form a letter F in every direction, we call them corresponding angles. Check this out. We have got A, B, C, D. Uh, let's say here. Okay. So we are saying that line AB is parallel to line uh, C, D. And there is a transversal line which start at A and go all the way to end at D. Don't tell me that angles are not formed there. An angle is formed here, an angle is formed here. Of course, an angle is formed here. An angle is formed here. But check this out. Let us identify letter F. If I draw it this way, and I go all the way with it. And here is that line. Can't you see a letter F? And you see this angle here? And this angle here? We call these angles corresponding angles. So I will say angle A is equal to angle C. Because C, we've got two angles. Let's say C1 and C2. So angle A will be equals to angle C2. Did you see that? Yes. And what am I what am I going to say? We spoke about corresponding angles. So we're going to say corresponding angles of parallel lines. Of parallel lines A B and C D. And voila! You have got your corresponding angles. Just look for letter F. Does not matter which direction it's facing. As long as you've got parallel lines, then you're good to go. Okay? So, because that I wanted to focus on the F, not that any other angles are not there of, of, of uh, parallel lines. They are there, but because they I wanted to focus on F, I'm just going to let it go. So, F, we are thinking of corresponding angles. Alright? And corresponding angles are equal. All right, and then let's go to the second letter, U. Some would like to, you know, see it as C. If you want to see it as C, it's fine. You can see it as C. So I'm just going to delete my rotated Fs so that I can help you with this U. So this U, it can either look like this. It can look like this maybe. So that's why some people are calling it a C. Okay? Uh, and it can face anyone. Do you see that? Yes. So when you talk, about, when you think of this shape, then you think core interior angles. Check this out. We've got F G H I. Okay. I. And then we say this is H. And then we say line F H. F H is parallel to G I. You see that? Then angles are formed. And then we've got a, a transversal line here, which is H I. Then angles are formed. This angle 
in this angle and this this is very simple because you know they are inside the triangle so we call them core interior core interior so we're going to say angle h plus angle i are equals to 180 degrees why they are core interior angles of parallel lines f h and g i you see that yep nice so now you call interior angles okay good so now let us go to the last letter some like to call it n some like to call it z okay so let's see um let me do this if i say that this line is parallel to that line i j k l m if i say j m is parallel to k n and i've got my transversal line uh j l angles are formed an angle is formed here and an angle is formed here do you see that end then we say these angles are alternating angles and alternating angles are equal this only happens when lines are parallel so i'm going to say angle j is equals to angle c why alternating angles of parallel lines yes parallel lines j m and k l feel me <laughs> i hope that you understand uh i'm going to say alternating angles of j m in parallel to k m and voila you're done i really hope that this makes sense but before i go you remember i said there are more angles that are formed on f right if i can just close this can you see that i've got a u that is rotated yes therefore it means angle a and angle c1 angle a plus angle c1 they are equals to 180 degrees why core interior angles yes you got it core interior angles of parallel line angles of parallel line a b and c d i hope that really makes sense guys next time you see this letters they will be in like complex diagrams but really it's not a big deal because for as long as you can spot an f and u and uh, an n or z on parallel lines then you're good to go remember f corresponding u co interior z alternating angles sharp love you guys